Hello, in this video, we're going to be giving you an overview of how to manage and customize your home screen on the Samsung Galaxy Ace 3. Now, there's lots of customization options that you have, but we'll aim to give you an overview here. So, as you can see, we've got a number of different home screens all set up differently. If I press the home button, I'm taken to this screen, which is currently set as my home screen. Now, I can press the menu button and select edit page where I'm taken to an overview like this. I can also get to this overview from the home screen by simply pinching like so. Now I can set which home screen is my default home screen by selecting the appropriate house icon at the top of the page. So now when I press the home button this is my primary home screen. If I pinch again I can add additional pages or if I want to get rid of pages, I simply press and hold on one and drag it up to the bin. When it goes red, I release the hold and the page will be removed. I can do this still if it's got content on the page. The only difference being when I drag it to the bin and release the hold, I get a warning to say that there's content on that and would I still like to sort of remove it? And you click OK or cancel. So I can press the home screen I can then scroll through and I can press and hold on the screen and in turn I could add another page. If I press and hold I can also add a folder and I can give it a name and the folder as the name suggests a way of organizing your desktop so we've got test here and like an app if I press and hold it I can move it about the home screens and the way I'm moving this folder is the way, the same way you'd move an app or a widget. So I press and hold, and I can move it around that particular home screen, or I can drag down onto other screens at the bottom here, and move the positioning. I can then drag things into that folder if I chose. What I'll also show you now is to how to add apps or widgets to the home screen. So if you go into the apps tray, you'll actually see two tabs, apps and widgets. And let's say I want to add YouTube to the screen. The principle applies exactly the same for widget. You scroll through the list to find what you want. You press and hold and you drag it to the appropriate screen. But I'm going to go to the one with the folder on it and I'm going to drag it just into an empty space to the side. But let's say I want to put YouTube into that folder. Because I've created that folder now, press and hold on the YouTube icon and I drop it into the test folder like so. So I can now open up the folder and I've got YouTube. I also have any other apps that I've added there. Let's just show you adding another app. So let's say I want to add navigation, press and hold and drag it to the screen like so. If I press and hold on the shortcut, we also have the option then to create a folder, I can drag it up there and it'll automatically create a new folder and I give it another name and I now have two folders each with their own individual apps in it. If I press and hold on the home screen again on an empty space I've got the option for set wallpaper. There's three options here to set the wallpaper independently for the home screen, for the lock screen or for them both. So I'm going to set them for them both and I can choose from live wallpapers pre-installed on the device, static wallpapers pre-installed, or from the galleries. That's images you may have taken or any connected services. If I go into wallpapers, scroll through to find one I like, let's say this aircraft wing, set wallpaper, and the wallpaper has now changed on both the home screen and also the lock screen. Now I have some control over the settings on the home and lock screens by going into the full settings menu as well. And I go into display and I've got wallpaper just here. I can also come back and go to the lock screen and control some of the widgets and things that you see on the lock screen and the shortcuts uh, here as well. But that's an overview of how you control and customize the home and lock screen on the Samsung Galaxy Ace 3.